we've been hitting some small venues and playing to a really tight packed crowd. And I gotta tell you, it's so much fun. We played Blair Fest, it's very big obviously, it's a big festival, but there is a different energy when it comes to small venues. It's so much fun, everybody's bouncing, having a good time. Uh, you get to get really close to them, you know? It's just an energy that you can't find at a big festival. Festivals are amazing, I love playing them, but there's something about getting in people's faces and, and yelling and having a good time and jumping in the crowd and crowd surfing. Small venues in Japan, freaking rock, man. It's such a hardcore energy and I can't wait to do some more of it. So. グレアもすごく素晴らしかったんですけど、なかなか現実感がやっぱりないというか、僕にとってはこういうライブハウスっていうのお客さん一人一人の顔も見れてすごい生きてるっていう実感が強く残ってます。ツアーライフについてこれも
I love you. We all love you. I miss you every day. Yeah, I thinking about everything I want out of Crystal Lake and and, and how much I want it. It, it makes you a little nervous uh, in the long run. You know, I every day I wake up, you know, hoping I'm good enough for the job, hoping they they see my work and, and hope that they see that I really want this and, and that I feel like I could really be the best thing for the band. I get really nervous about wondering if, if they'll choose me. I have no other worries than to get past this finish line and, and get this job because if I get it, learning the language won't be a problem. Making friends will not be a problem. I've already made so many. Um, my only worry is getting across the finish line first and, and I really hope it's me because that's gonna lead me to traveling the world and and meeting new people and, and hearing people yell our songs back at us. And that's something that I can only get at this point with Crystal Lake. And I just really want it to work out. And, and I hope that I get to wake up one day and say, I'm in Crystal Lake and this is my job. And, and I'm in another country right now doing that job. Um, so yeah, I, I really hope I can keep up with those guys. I hope that they think that I can keep up and I, I really look forward to getting past all the obstacles and making it happen. So. これから応援しも進んでってそれでもし仮に僕がクリスタルレイクに加入することになったらまだまだ経験してないような未知な出来事がたくさん待ち受けてると思うんでレコーディングもまだやったことないですしクリスタルレイクとして楽しみでもあり
っぱ一日本のライブじゃ気づけなかったのがまず気づけまして、ね、やっぱりそのツアーを一緒に今回できたっていうのがめちゃめちゃやっぱ大きくて3人とも個性がすごいあるのでどういうふうにツアーをやってるのかなっていうのが見どころだったんですけどめちゃめちゃやっぱ長い期間ツアーやるってことを考えた時に、まあ、3人全然できるなと思ったしやっぱそのしっかり準備してきたりやっぱ黒意識が全然前回だったので結構今後は楽しみですね誰かなっても多分クリスタルエイクにはなれると思うので楽しみにしてますジョンもマットもラファエル君もやっぱりすごい一貫してやっぱりその同じなのは多分こうクリスタルでどうやったら自分がうまく表現できるのかっていうのをすごく意識してきたツアーだったなって改めて思っててみんなベクトルは違うんですよねマットはマットの緊張感があってやっぱりそのプレーの時とツアーの時っていうのは意識が変わってたしツアーの時で,でなんかその3本経験してみて彼も大きく成長した部分がやっぱりローカルのところでしか今までアメリカでやってなかったからやっぱ変わっていったっていう部分がブレを経たからこそ多分ツアーが生きている部分もあると思うしジョンに関してはやっぱりそのツアーをやっぱりまあ、僕らよりもアメリカを待ってるような方なんでやっぱりそこに関してはやっぱりその一貫して変わらないっていう良さがジョンにはあったっていうだからブレアも含めてツアーも含めて全てが一貫して変わらずに安定しているっていう操作でラファエル君に関してはやっぱりその大きいステージを経た上でかつ自分なりになんかこうパフォーマンスやっぱり同じ日本人なんでやっぱそこの日本人同士でしか交わせないでも僕らも英語もやっぱりそういうプロフェッショナルかって言ったらプロではないんでやっぱりそういう細かい部分が伝えられなかったりとかっていうのはあるんですよね英語の部分だけどラフェルに関してはやっぱりお互い日本人だからそこら辺のコミュニケーションがやっぱり密に取れるからそこで大きくこうメンバーとカンバセーションすることによって成長できたツアーだったなっていうふうに思いました Traveling with these guys has been a really big part of the experience. I have known about the band for about 10 years,、uh, which is very cool.、Um, and you know, you always hear that Japanese people are respectful, at least, and, and, and generally friendly. And getting here in person and meeting these guys, having them be friendly and respectful and professional, has been such a cool experience. And usually, when I feel like I'm going to Slow down or mess up or get nervous. I just look at, one of the, at what one of these other guys are doing and it, it makes me feel strong. And, and traveling with these guys and being on the road has been cool. People seem to have a good energy and they seem to keep it that way. I'm just very happy with how big of a part of the experience it has been to live with these guys basically and be on the road. and Know that these are the only guys that have your back out here. It's been such a big part of the experience that I, I want more of it. You keep waiting to have a problem with people in a professional environment because that's just what happens. And I'm sure we'll have some down the road because that's what happens. But otherwise, man, I love their energy and it's been such a treat getting to know them. And for the first time in my life, I've met people that I look up to. That are actually good people. You know, I've met so many people that end up being, you know, rude and not nice and just not good people. So the fact that I can boldly look somebody in the eye and tell them Crystal Lake are good guys, Crystal Lake is professional, means so much to me. And it's such a warm feeling. And I want more of that. I want to be able to come back and say hi to my friends and say hi to my, my band. And Keep living with them on the road and keep it going because I've been chasing it my whole life and I don't want it to stop. So let's not let it stop here. I don't think it's a member to Crystal Lake member to go to the city and 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 go to the city. Everyone in the band is actually super nice and polite, so it, no one actually. Gives any reasons for anybody to really kind of like maybe step on each other's toes or bump heads or anything like that. Even when they do want to say, you know, don't do that or let's try this, it's always a question. It's always a, a conversation. It's not like in other bands where, you know, they kind of like tell you no and they slam their foot down. So being able to always talk about ideas and, you know, different perspectives is. Just a beautiful thing because it's not something you really get to do a lot of in the music industry. Bands the size of Crystal Lake will normally 
have a very uh, thick skin and Crystal Lake seems to be very warm and welcoming to the whole situation. It makes it very easy.